I'm here with Bob Sommerhalder, who is actor Ian Sommerhalder's brother. So it's a little bit of a departure from what I normally do with my interviews. But Bob has a wide array of homemade uh, crosses and signs. Why don't you talk a little bit about what brought you to making these? They all seem to have a you know, welcoming, religious nature, animals, that kind of thing. What brought you into this fold? Well, what we were doing before was, is, uh, I was building houses. Mm -hmm. uh, that market's a dying market. Um, plus, there's a lot of uh, waste when you build houses, and I was looking at all the waste, and we were trying to figure out what we could do with some of the waste and um, we came up with the idea of starting to do some home decor. Mm -hmm. uh, we also love to get a hold of old barns um, to build furniture out of, uh, especially the ones that if they're falling down, people are going to burn, throw away. Um, it's old wood that you'll never see again, mm -hmm. virgin timber. Um, but yeah, we, we're just trying to take some of the wood, some of the things out there that are just getting tossed away that could be reused. Um, and trying to uh, create new life with it. Now, do you have to do anything to treat it, or it's literally naturally it's, uh, as it is? Well, well the natural wood, uh, if it's nice, good, old, worn wood, I'll try to leave it natural color so you can see the color, the grain. Mm -hmm. um, the big thing right now is everybody's making pallet furniture or pallet wood things. Uh, the pallet wood, we usually, it's, it's the stuff that we paint. It's a newer wood, um, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, but it's, you know, while the pallet's getting busted up and thrown away and used once or twice and they discard them, um, but the pallet wood is something that we usually, we paint. Um, we paint, we stain, we wax, we sand, um, whatever it takes to make it look good. How many hours a day do you work on this? This is your main this is, passion. This is it, right? Yes, this is our main, our main job, our main focus. Um, we work out of our home, so we're, we're actually always doing work. But uh, on average, I mean, we work eight, ten hour days sometimes, getting ready for shows, festivals. You might, you might have to work 14 to 16 hour day to get things done. But um, it's, uh, it's sometimes a lot of work. Uh, it's not hard work. Uh, but it, it, it's sometimes I could say it's actually fun work. It's great. It should be gratifying work because you're actually making something that people are going to hang in their homes and they're going to look at it and be like, this is friggin' cool. I haven't seen anything like this before. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. What the, very original. Oh, yes. Um, it's some things people, if they saw where some of it came from, they would wonder, what in the world are you doing with that piece of wood? Um, some of it, yeah, you wouldn't be like, nah, it's got to do a lot of cleaning up to get that uh, in my house. But uh, but no, it, it is gratifying to see you take something that's, that was, uh, you know, it's rough, nasty, dirty, clean it up, polish it up, and, and people actually want it to put in their homes, which is a nice thing. What is your favorite thing to make? Favorite then, thing to make. Actually, I like making um, the tables, the bigger uh, like dining room tables. Um, you get to lay out more of the wood, um, more of the furniture. I like the furniture part of it. Uh, so things are not cart into the conventions. No, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't cart them over here at the conventions. But um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the furniture, the bigger pieces. And, and usually, luckily, um, people want us to build things, and we build them, and uh, we haven't put anything on our website because we haven't had any to put. Anything, everything we build, it, it goes right out the door. So it's a good thing. And now, what of your items can you crank, crank out you know, in mass supply? Even though you're doing it by hand, it's right. labor intensive. We do intensive. a lot of cro the crosses. We, we have to um, like mass produce. Um, the picture frames, uh, the plaques, we, we try to get those out um, quite a you know, that's our, our bigger sellers. So yes, we have to have to spit them out. Mm -hmm. And this is not meant in any insulting way, but your pieces look like they would fit in more down south, but they are universal. And they would be, I could see this hanging in like a New York apartment or, or just anybody's anybody's house anywhere because of the way you do it. It looks old, yet it's beautiful at the same time. So is that something you do uh, purposely? Or do you just go for an aesthetic ver version that you have in your head? <laughs> Actually, no, it just kind of comes out that way. Um, uh, with the Florida Lees, I mean, us 
we growing up in Louisiana, mm -hmm. and a lot of Portuguese growing up, seeing them all over, especially all over New Orleans. Um, so we kind of incorporated that part, um, a little bit of our background into what we do. Um, but yeah, the um, the oldness of it, um, it um, I, I guess it's I guess it could be more of a southern thing. But, See, uh, I think it's it's universal because you can tell there was love put into these products while they were being made, and they're universal. And it's a comfort piece that you look at, and regardless whether you're from the South or not, right. I feel like it's something that you look at and you know somebody made this. It wasn't mass produced for a department store or a chain store or anything like that. You actually did it with your own hands. Yes. And you can tell that. You can tell just from the workmanship of it. Thank you. Yeah, we're there's only two of us, three of us, I guess, technically, uh, that build or really work, do the majority of the work, my wife and I. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a thing. Um, it's all it's all definitely like I said. It's all handcrafted. It, a cross. I might have to have the same cross in my hand. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 10, 15 times before it's finished. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to, um, you know, put some, a little bit of love in each one. Well, it, it comes across. They, Thank I you. mean, obviously they look homemade because they are, but it's just nice to see something where somebody's actually working with their hands and making something that isn't the run of the mill. Oh, look, I can go buy this at Home Goods or someplace like that. You know, you oh, can yeah. tell this is one of a kind stuff where the color may be slightly different or even if it's just, um, a, a Florida Lee or love on your thing, you can tell that you're not gonna find a mass produced item in your collection of stuff. Thank you. That's that's our goal. That's our goal. We want it to be every Well you succeeded in that Thank I can you. tell you. Every every cross of course is a cross, but there's no same none of them will be exact. I mean no matter even when I cut them out, they're never cut the same. It's always right. something happens and, and actually sometimes we might make a hundred of them. And technically, if you go to measure them, the next hundred might be a little bit shorter, a little bit narrow. It all, it's never, never the same. It's all hand done, so it's never perfect. And that's why it's a great gift for somebody because you're getting a one of a kind piece. And so, where is your website? Where can people find you online? Uh, we are www.buildofbarnwood.com. And that's where the Bob comes in. Yes. But that's also your name. Yes, correct. So. So Think we, about that and spin around for a while. Yeah, we sat down, had dinner one night, and tried to figure out a clever name after a couple of bottles of wine. That's what we came up with. Mm -hmm. Now, as your, I thank you so much for doing this interview, and as the sign says that you're sitting next to welcome, that is what this whole table is about: welcoming yeah. people and and really looking at art. Have them come on in. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much, Bob.